Founder of Zara Entertainment, James Rosen. Better known as Jimmy Hinch. Also known as Jimmy Hinch. Rumors of surfing. Choosing the mogul of being behind the shooting of Tupac Shakur in 1994. Did you or did you not have anything to do with him being robbed or shot? Never even knew about it. Had nothing to do with it. In the underbelly of hip-hop culture, there's always been rumors, unsubstantiated gossip, and at times, blatant lies about Jimmy Roseman, a.k.a. Jimmy Henchman. A one-time music executive, consultant and manager to the game, Mike Tyson, actor Michael K. Williams, and business ties to a host of other artists and celebrities. In 20 years, Roseman has rarely gone on the record about the various accusations, innuendos, and stories that implicated him in various criminal schemes. He'll be facing life in prison. This dude was moving thousands of kilos. That just came from an indictment accusing the mogul of distributing multiple kilos of cocaine. He was pushing dope from California all the way to New York. For the first time on camera, Roseman is speaking to Go To Ground News to tell his story. His case is riddled with inconsistent information provided by career criminals and federal informants, along with a strategic plan by former LA Times journalist Chuck Phillips to provide government officials with false and damaging information. Rumors are rumors. I think when you have a reputable newspaper like the Los Angeles Times to validate a rumor then it becomes real. This story goes to the nexus of drugs, money, and hip-hop culture and puts to rest many questionable rumors and stories created by an overzealous media to feed internet conspiracy theories. Diddy and the notorious B.I.G. were aware of a plot masterminded by Jimmy Henchman. Definitely don't believe the hype, the lies. You can't believe everything on media. First Class Boy Scout. Not our assertion, but a violent drug kingpin deserving of multiple life sentences? We'll examine the criminal trials of Roseman, the complex connections of the case to the business of hip hop, and present a story of transparency that has not been reported in any media outlets, and provides new information and theories in regards to the conviction of Jimmy Roseman. Our investigative reporting will cast many doubts against the case the government presents and ask questions of the evidence provided. Let's call it from a federal prison. It wasn't only the Tupac fiction that I was accused of. It was also that I was racketeering, that I was extorting, that I was walking in people's offices and shaking them down. There were so many rumors out there. If they're true, then they have to be somebody who could come forward and say, yo, Jimmy grabbed me, pistol whipped me, made me give them a piece of my check. They would have to have those kind of real stories. There is no one. I can say that with 100% certainty that can say that I even gave them a bad contract.